the 20th of July 1943, having previously headed across the Atlantic and attacked the oil refineries on the coastline of Aruba, U-606 has returned to port and a series of refurbishments upon the U-boat has taken place. U-606 now boasts a Term 4 conning tower with two 20mm anti-aircraft guns and a 37mm automatic M42U gun. Her radar detector has also been upgraded to the new FUMB-10 Borkum, and to further aid her electronic warfare, the hydrophone has been upgraded to the KDB. Thanks to the speedy engineers, the refit has taken next to no time, and U-606 is ready to head out once again. The BDU have issued new orders. U-606 is to travel to sector BB-5 to BB-9. This is an area on the northeastern seaboard of North America, particularly around the port of Sydney in Canada. We are to sink a minimum of 10,000 tons of enemy shipping. Not only that, we will have a war correspondent, Walter May, on board for this journey and he will write an article about our U-boat and how impressive we can be striking the enemy on the other side of the world. We are to make a good impression and ensure his safety. Good hunting. Hi everyone, welcome to U606's weekly patrol log. Uh, we're just crossing the Bay of Biscay now, heading across the Atlantic and we've just run into some friends, thank goodness. Yeah, it's a U-boat over there. And in fact, there's another U-boat there. There's uh, there's two of them. Any more? Just the two. Yeah, there's a couple of U-boats heading south, or heading southwest. Um, obviously off on to their own little patrol and their own mission, no doubt. But um, yeah. There's one. There's the other. Confirmed German. So oh, there's three. There's three of them. Okay, three submarines heading south. That's interesting. Something they know that we don't. Is that a wolf pack forming? It's not where we need to go, though, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would be quite good fun. And then. There you go. All three. To see the conning tower there there and there yeah interesting anyway we're gonna keep going and uh, we've got a long way to go heading across the Atlantic all the way to Canada uh, to do some shipping strikes there uh, there is a couple of milk cow resupply submarines um, just out that way so we should be okay to get a resupply of fuel to get us home as well so onward Hi everyone, right, we have made our patrol zone on the 2nd of August 1943, just at 8.29 in the morning. Uh, we've received a new message from the BDU. A very valuable radar prototype is being transported on Edward R. Squibb cargo ship headed to Halifax Harbour, where it will be fitted into a dedicated warship for testing. Sinking this ship will noticeably slow enemy progress in developing this technology. We estimate that it's current put passing through a square BB-826 with a course of 225 degrees. The ship is moving in a convoy travelling at a speed of 7 knots. So, okay, we're going to go and hunt a uh, specific ship in a convoy. No problem. It's not, can't be too far. Let's go and have a look at the hydrophone and see where it is on the map. Okay, there is the convoy. UE Major Convoy SH 1943 Q3 Convoy. Let's go into Halifax. Wow, that we are really going to have to go some to intercept that. As you can see, this is where we are. We've just come into our patrol zone, um, heading out from our home ports here. Um, does it mark the uh, the U-boat resupply U-boats are about here? So um, they're not a million miles away. We should be able to go and reach them. But what we need to do. If we're going to intercept this, we need to go full chat and try and get ahead of it. We've um, been conserving our fuel quite well, but now's the time. Maybe not flank, maybe, um, yeah, 
forward four. Fast ahead, yeah. Yes, okay. Let's um, see if we can intercept that. It's going to be a bit of an ask, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, right. Periscope up. Oh, we've intercepted this convoy. The snorkel up as well. Which hopefully is not going to cause too many things. I may see that. I might just pop that down or hopefully they're not going to be too vigilant. Right, we've got a warship over there. We're out of our patrol square. We've had to chase them out of our patrol square. But uh, we've managed to um, get them on the route to uh, the port of Halifax. So we've got a... Can't read what that is, but it's a C3 freighter, which is a nice juicy one. Can't see that one. Another freighter there. Another C3 freighter. Is this an unescorted convoy? Oh my word, we have not seen one of these in many a year. They think they're safe because they're near the Canadian uh, mainland. Oh dear, how wrong they are. Right, let's set up and uh, start to uh, plot some of these ships. So we're going to move forward and try and get into a better killing zone. Right, I brought the snorkel down and we've moved forward a touch. It's going to bring the periscope up a bit more so we can have a clear line of sight of what we're looking at. Right, so we've got that one over there. It's a bit out of our way. Um, oh, hang on. Edward R. Squid. This is the one, isn't it? This is the. Well, hang on. Let's lock onto this one. And this is the one that has the technology that we need to sink. This looks like a US ship. Freighter, here we go. It's a C3. Let's recognize that. Oh, speed we know is doing seven knots. No reason to think that's changed. Uh, range. About 2,800 meters. And course is. over there. Right, what have we got in the old tubes? A T3 with LUT in one, a T5 in two, a T3 with fat in three, and a T3 with fat in four. Okay. Right. Uh, Let's see if we can maybe set up for a shot on the further one first. And then we, we can have a shot at, at, at that one. We've got that one set up. So let's lock onto this one. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. This is, is that a Danish flag or a Norwegian. Norwegian? Yeah, it could be. Um, let's have a look then. It's a freighter. Um, there we go. It's one of them. It's a merchant ship. Let's get that seven knots in there. And distance about 3,900. Okay, and course there. Right, let's get uh, tube three. Oh, we have that turn right after, well, if it's gone past. Tube one. Fire. Close. Now, what have we got there? Is that French? A French ship or something? French ship. <laughs> um, will you be my friend? It's a, it's a free French. Yes. Um. There we go, I think it's one of them. Seven knots. What's the velocity? Oh, the velocity. What's the range on this? About six. Okay, we'll hold off on that one. Let's get lock onto this one. We've got that one locked in. Let's get. What is the. Oh, 
the keel depth of one of these ships. That's what I want to know. We might be able to send some magnetic um, torpedo to destroy it. Oh, that was right first time. Uh, depth 7.3. Right, so let's get you magnetic. Okay, 7.5. Uh, there you go, about 20. Yeah, that'd, probably, that'd be fine. Fire. Los! I'll send you on the surface. Ish. Fire. Los! Right, so we got a T5 in tube 2. Ready to go. Right, the torpedoes are whizzing to targets. Good hits, good hits, right, we've got a hit there, small fire burning there, and the second one under the keel, and the first ship we hit, is that the one? No, that's the French, that's the one behind it, there we go. That is on fire, and that is sinking fast. So is the Edward, by the looks of it, oh yeah, she's keeling over. So that's kind of just hanging in there. My crew is stressed. Are they really? I think things are going quite well, but rather. Um, right, those two ships seem to be sinking. There seems to be no enemy escorts here. Right, there is another C3 freighter. Does that have deck guns? So it doesn't. Yes, it does. I'll be tempted to surface. So let's try and sink that other C3 freighter. That one's gone. That C3 is. Uh, that's kind of it's gone isn't it but it's just kind of hanging there at the moment um yes yeah, so let's see if we can get the other freighter c3 freighter and then we can surface and uh, use the deck gun to try and finish uh the rest of this convoy off right so it's getting a little bit closer now i'm tempted to send the uh t5 let's see one what's that two t5s Let's send the T1. Um, 7.3 if you want to send it magnetically. Yeah, 7.5. Fire one. We can always follow that up with the T5. Another T1 there. In tube 2. So we'll get tube 2 flooded just in case. But we'll see how this magnetic torpedo goes on against this uh, C3 freighter. Okay, that failed to detonate. It was a bit of a dud. Um, it actually missed it because the ship is zigzagging. But it came back and actually almost hit it. Right, tube 2, which is the... Um, T5, fire. Los! This should hit. Okay, no real uh, impact seen. Let's get a T1. Flooded. Send that down to seven and a half again. Magnetic. We need to recalculate the uh, velocity of the ship. Yeah, even with a um, 
T5 of their tailpipe it doesn't seem to have slowed them down much which is slightly surprising so just do a quick speed check recalculate and we'll fire this uh, torpedo oh, actually no, the, um, the health of that ship is slowly dropping so I think that is just the um, the slow nature of the water seeping in through the holes of the uh, the rear they probably destroyed the propeller and the uh, the rear so you can see it's got a nasty couple of deck guns on the rear and a couple on the front and lots of uh, probably anti-aircraft cannon as well so yeah I don't want to get too close oh she's definitely going down at the stern Down to five knots. Right, tube three, fire. Knots! Right, and that torpedo went straight underneath the sinking, or the sinking stern of that ship lifted the front up, and she did not detect it. So. Um, I don't need another T5. Let's uh, the T3 lots. We'll send it on the surface. Don't have to worry about missing this time. Well, hopefully. Do another quick range finder. That torpedo is now doing a little search, but it's not going to find a target. Fire. Los! Auf right, we're manning the deck gun. That other torpedo, it did missed it. They're changing speed, and uh, unfortunately, we, we missed. So um, we are manning the deck gun try and finish these uh, ships off. Uh, we'll hunt the um, the damaged C3 down as well. Get those two down first because they're obviously going to be the big tonnage. This is the one with the secret technology on it so this is def definitely needs to go down to the bottom. And there she goes. Happy days. So that's our confirmation. Oh, that's wow, she must have been a big ship. We've only sunk two ships and we've already got our 10,000 tons. Fantastic. Right, over here we've got the little escaping ones and plus the other C3 which has already been hit but we're having problems. Oh, she's returning fire, look at that. This is what I thought. I was hoping with the, the deck guns underwater almost that they wouldn't be um, um, manning them, but they do appear to be. And they're getting a bit close. So, okay, maybe we do need to dive down. Ooh, just took a hit. Right there, right, okay. This is a bad. Stay with the deck gun and uh, get down to a safer depth. Right then, uh, so those come down. We um, we did take a couple of a uh, couple of injuries. Let's get pushed through the hatch, and I don't want to. Um, I think we've got them through here, and they're being treated. Yeah, are you okay, boys. This is not good for the. Um, a war correspondent to see this, but there you go. This is this is this is war, isn't it? This is conflict. It's taken a bit of hit from the the deck guns, so yes, they are. Here's the war correspondent. Are you okay there, Walter? Don't fret. Yes, we're taking a little bit of damage. Um, everything seems to be okay. 
not really in danger of anything more happening. Uh, what's this gentleman doing here? Are you a uh, sleeping sailor? Derek Mass. Um, you're on toilet cleaning duties. Honestly. Ah, don't let me catch you again. Be execution next time, my son. This is a war, you know. Yes. Right. Um, first aid is being dished out. I may go back up there and keep an eye on what's going on. Uh, we'll continue to pursue this C3, which has been so bothersome. Maybe we'll get that T5 to try and finally finish her off. Right, periscope up. And we'll see our new KDB Hydra friend has been damaged with the, one of those um, gun shell strikes, which is slightly annoying. Right, there's. There's those two, which we want to get deck gun later. Where's this pesky C3? There you are. Right. Oh, dear, oh dear. Right, let's get what we got. We've got the T5. We've got two T5s. Let's get that T5 loaded. Let's see if we can. It's obviously got our engines going. All right. Tube three, fire. Lord! Ah, it's a good hit. The uh, flagpole's down. But there doesn't seem to be much more damage taken. I guess we've already hit that area. Hmm. Well, we'll give it another bit of time. If not, we're going to have to try, try and black past them again in front of them again. But, um, yeah. Two torpedoes she's taken to the stern now. And uh, she's going strong. Alright, there she is. We've managed to get ahead of her. The other two ships have um, headed off in... Oh, there they are. They're headed off in that direction. But this one is still sailing forth. It's got a little fire at the back. They're going to have to recalculate all this and, uh, and go again. It's going to mark back as a, as a C3. We can work out her speed, what she's um, managed to do. Two deck guns at the front there. Look at that. Seems to be going pretty quick, doesn't she? Uh, so I'd probably be doing no messing if we got like T1s or T2 or T3s. I'll probably put a pair of them into the side of her. Um, because I'm not going to chase her across the Atlantic. Although actually they're heading to the port of um, Halifax aren't they? So I can't be here all the time. Look, they've managed to get the water out of the stern. Look at that. They managed to get it above water. Those guns still look operational even though there are fires there. Back to seven knots. Look at that. That's right. Uh, she's going to be fairly close, I would have thought. 1900 meters. Nice. And she's coming. Uh, sorry, she's coming like that. Okay, so we got a T3, T1, T1. Let's get two T1s flooded. Alright, so let's give it a little bit more time. Right. Two and three, fire. Yes. Hopefully this will be the end of it. Torpedo should be nearing the target now. Oh no. Beautiful. Smack in the middle. Perfect. That's got to be her gone now. That'll be four torpedoes struck. Yes. She's taken on water. That will beat the firefighting crews, the water pump crews. Yeah, she's going down. Tough ship, this one. 
This is a tough ship. She does not want to sink. But I think she's going to have no choice. Perfect. So, uh, if we can get this unknown ship down here. Does that have a name? No, I can't see one. Um, so, if we get this one sunk, we can surface the boat and chase after those two other merchants. There she goes. She's gone. Perfect. Perfect. So, we've got those, the two ships over there. There goes the troubles, troublemaker. Right, surface the boat. Let's chase these two down. Is that another Panama flag I see? Uh, we'll get these sent down to the bottom. We'll get some uh, red hot shells near the funnel and the engine. Only high, uh, only armor piercing on board, unfortunately. There was no high explosives back at port when we were rearming. So if we can get some shells into the. Uh, let's try and slow down a bit, actually. Okay, got the fire. Oh, they've got the fire suppressant crews out. And they are winning the battle with the fire bullets and things. Oh, second fire breaking out on the stern deck, which is good to see. Oh, no, it seems to have got it out, most of it. There we go. Cover back. Where's that other ship? Is over there. Uh, plenty of shells to play with. Continue to firing into what we think might be the top of the engine room. Get some more fires going. Oh, we got him out. Damn, these uh, guys are good. Ah, there we go, finally. She's really igniting now. I think that's the end of her. Go on, sink quickly. What have we got? We've got 40 odd shells left. There we go, I think that's it. Evacuation is being sounded. Hopefully uh, she's a goner. Let's start speeding up and uh, try and catch this other ship because I think this one's gone. Yeah, she's gone. Right, another one over here. Nice. She's trying to go alight, but... Now, there we go. Finally, we're getting some damage on her. Fantastic. The fire's caught up. This fire suppression crew is brilliant. They are really doing a wonder on this ship. Smoke's still coming up from the hold. Oh, that's a bit low. Come on, so, oh, the fire's back. Get a hold, get a hold, send it to the bottom. I think she's slowly suffering there. Yeah, this looks like the end. A bit choppy now. There we go, that's got the front alight, that is her done. Oh, finally, with 16 shells remaining. We have been. Well, that took a fair few of them. 
But there we go, that convoy has been cleared. Not only with the special secret technology, but also every other ship in there as well. Let's stow the deck gun. Right, that ship's sunk and there is a lifeboat, so we will go and offer some um, assistance to this lifeboat over here. Um, in the meantime, uh, we've got the engineers doing an inspection thanks to the, uh, the damage we've sustained from the shelling. Uh, but let's see if we can offer these um, in the lifeboat a little bit of sanctuary if they want it. Right, convoy has been sighted. And it's a big convoy. Look at this, right. Um, ooh. It's a big juicy Liberty or C3 freighter there. We've got a nice juicy freighter there. And then we've got some sort of Empire ship there. And that looks like a that be uh, difficult to tell from this angle. Could be a, a C3 or something. Another merchant ship. That is all distinctly a lack of escorts, which I like very much indeed. Oh, look at this. Is that a tanker at the back there? Possibly. Got another ship here, Greek ship. Two more ships there. Happy days. Another one there from Panama. Oh, look at these. NA1 from Sweden. Bound to have some sort of secret technology on that. Right. Um, well, I think we wait for the big juicy ones, do we? Or do we start picking off some of the... We've only got 15 shells in the gun, so there's no point um, thinking that we can probably sink a ship or two with the gun. Maybe finish one or two off. Right, tube five. Um, you go about 15 hundred meters and turn left. Yeah, should be fine. Fire! Right, torpedo away. Right. I think this one's going to strike home first, which may put pay to the other one. Ten seconds. Here we go. Get a good hit. Treffer. Good hit. Not much in the way of damage we can be seen. What's a big scorch mark on the side? Uh, spin the periscope round. Let's have a look. Where was the ship we were going to sink? Was it? What was a T2 tanker over there? Or was it some sort of tanker? Right. So anyway, um, we can flood tube five at uh, four, which is a T5. Oh, we've got another one being loaded in the rear, which is good. Fire you. And then when tube five is ready. Um, yeah, I think it's it's that ship there which is dancing with the torpedo around there, which is a bit annoying. Well, behind us though, how is that ship doing? It wasn't that one; it was this one. Uh, it seems to be I'm not worried at all. Right, our T5 went off at a 90 degree angle and um, seems to have hit this one, the Kingdom of Greece. Well, that's the country, sorry. I thought that was the name of the ship. <laughs> okay, this Greek um, version ship, you can see it's hit the, hit the stern there. So we've hit these two and then not much is happening. That one's that one. Well, that one's, that one's actually still taking on water, which is good. Uh, I think this torpedo over here has run out of juice. So that forward firing one was a bit rubbish. Ah, oh, that is looking like it's actually going to sink though, which is a little bit positive. It's all gone a bit wrong. From the initial good attacks. Yes, the last few have been a bit poor, haven't they? But um, finally it looks like one may be sinking. 
Now we can try and finish that off with a deck gun. Um, I just don't think it's going to be one of those places I can surface in the midst of it. No, no, no she's got guns. The Empire Nutfield. She's got guns. And uh, she's a British ship, so yeah. We've already learned that lesson today. We're not going to dice and play with those boys. Oh, it's just typical. Run out of torpedoes now. With all these blooming ships around us. Hey ho. Right, can we lock onto this one? How is tube 5 coming on? I would like to try and hit this one again. Try and get at least confirm a kill. It's taken so long to get tube 5 loaded and flooded. Um, yeah, that ship has sailed on. There's no chance I was trying to get hit that now. Um, right, I suppose all we can do. Is we can finish that one off the deck gun. Let's have a pop at this one, I suppose. Anyone else coming up this way? He's a bit far away. Actually, this is probably going to be our better bet, isn't it? The Empire Mini uh, Mini Minerva or Miniva? It's Minerva, I think. Um, fire. Close! Last one, we're empty. Alright, we'll just watch where this goes and then we'll just sit quietly, let this convoy go past us and we'll try and tidy up the um, the pieces if this ship is um, not going to sink over here and hopefully we can uh, maybe score a hit on the uh, Minerva here. Trevor! Trevor! We got her! Oh, that's a good fire as well. That is looking good. Oh, that was a good decision to switch from the, uh, the big ship to this. Keep burning, my friend. Keep burning. I think. I think that might just do it. Yep. Whenever she has been sunk. Perfect. Right. There she goes. What can I hear over here? Oh, it's this one. Okay, she's not too far away. Right, let's um, just, just let these ships go by. We've got nothing for them, unfortunately. Oh, it's frustrating that there's no escort here. And yet we're a bit wasteful with some of those shots. I just didn't play ball. It was that C3 we wasted a lot of torpedoes on, but um, we're just going to sort of hang around and see if we can sink this one here and get our final with our 15 shells or 16 shells, whatever we've got left. Okay, here we go. Uh, the convoy has sailed on. We're going to try and finish off this uh, Greek ship and uh, claim our final prize for this patrol. Right, she's taking on water now. I think that might be it. That's right, stone the deck gun. And let's see if we can go and locate a milk cow to get some fuel. And we're going to head back across the Atlantic to home base to get this uh, scorch marks and the repairs done to our hull. And here we are. Skipper of this supply ship warmly greets your delegation on board U 490. He then starts to introduce himself as Jonas uh, Sparfeld. They invite your crew to taste freshly baked bread on the ship. Fantastic. Right, uh, we can transfer survivors. Brilliant, okay. Have some survivors. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, let's get some bread, shall we? Sausa oh, sausages. Sausages. Let's get some bread. This will take one day to load all these goods. Oh, I think we've got one day. Okay, we 
probably don't need that. There you go. Three hours. Let's get some bread. Yeah. Anyway, fuel. Let's get the fuel reloaded. Uh, torpedo is what you got. T three, T three. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually pick up a couple of torpedoes. You never know. Let's get um, that one in the rear, just in case we get intercepted on the way home. It's always good to have uh, some more. We'll get some deck gun ammo. Take two days. Oh, let's let we're going crazy. Let's can we cancel that? Yeah, let, let's. We just want the fuel, really, and the torpedoes, and anything else is a bit of a. We don't really need it. Right, let's ask him how the service is going. He's hired Cy and tells you that's a hard mission for them. Or he managed to resupply two U-boats. Uh, at the second try, they were attacked by aircraft and two men died. Oh, sorry to hear that. Right, let's get this transfer complete and um, let's start heading home. As we arrive back at port, Jonas Muller receives a new decoration, an Iron Cross second class. Well done, Jonas. Well deserved. Not only that, he also received his first class Iron Cross as well. Wow, he really, he really did well in this mission. I think he was on the, uh, on the deck gun, so got accreditation for quite a bit on this mission. And as we go into debriefing, we are informed that the SS Polaris was sunk. Intel tells us this ship was a gross registered tonnage of 6,014 tonnes, was transporting war resources from Sydney to Halifax. It was registered in Norway. The Edward R. Squibb was sunk. This is the one with the secret technology. Our sources inform us that it was headed from Sydney to Halifax with medical supplies in the cargo holds. The ship's registered tonnage was 7,757 tonnes, registered in the USA. Sunk. This ship was registered in the Netherlands. This is the C3 which caused us so much bother. Didn't register a name. Anyway, it was carrying war resources from Sydney to Halifax and a gross registered tonnage of 7,801 tonnes. And took about four torpedoes to get rid of. Uh, also, another sunk ship. This ship was registered in Panama and was carrying war resources. Sydney to Halifax, registered tonnage of 6,083 tons. And another sunk. Our intel tells us that this ship was a registered tonnage of 4,311 tons, transporting utilities from Sydney to the Halifax, and it was registered in Free France. Then, as we came up here, uh, our sources in, uh, inform us that this ship was headed from Halifax to Sydney with raw resources in the cargo holds. Registered tonnage of 2,663 tonnes was registered in the UK. And that was the Empire Minerva. Minerva. And sunk. Sources inform us that this ship was headed from Halifax to Sydney with raw resources in the cargo holds. The ship's registered tonnage was 2,734 tonnes. Registered in the Kingdom of Greece. So, not a bad mission. Uh, good patrol, actually. Uh, 16,000 cash awarded, plus another engineer has been assigned to the crew. We sunk 37,363 tons on this patrol. We were at sea for 34 days and 23 hours. We travel a total distance of 10,569.4 kilometers. Um, could have done some more if we hadn't have uh, wasted a few torpedoes striking at the uh, that blessed C3 Dutch freighter. Uh, Cause us so many bothers. So here is a list of the seven ships that we sunk. Happy days for 37,000 tons. And our objectives completed on this patrol. We found Edward R. Squibb. We sunk Edward R. Squibb. We allowed the war correspondent to collect material for his publication. Just asked the same 
simple questions um, that, that I hit, as he always has, so we completed that quite quickly. Uh, we reached the patrol zone, we sunk the minimum 10,000 tons, and we travelled 2,500 kilometres inside the marked patrol zone. Happy days, right. Um, I think we've got another piece of technology research completed, uh, so we may get that re uh, fitted to U606 um, in time for next mission. It'll probably be another week, a few weeks before we're ready to go. And uh, yeah, we're quickly coming into the end of uh, so the end of 1943, and uh, things can only get hot, harder for us moving forward. So should be interesting um, we'll see if there's any more patrols on the uh, North American seaward um, I am enjoying out there especially as there's no escorts and we can just sort of help ourselves um, but I'm sure uh, we'll be pulling closer to home very soon as Donitz brings his Euros around the UK rather than um, hitting out at the, uh, the US once they start to respond. So we'll leave it there for this time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.